going to show you today how to adjust and calibrate your mechanical slash pneumatic VGT controller. Um, this is our older style here with this this style um, and this is our newer style. We're going to show how to do both styles. The very first thing you're going to do is simply come in here and you're going to remove this little cover here and all you need to do is loosen the bolts a little and this piece will slide out. So we're going to reduce these, just loosen these bolts and this piece will slide straight out like that. And then we're going to tighten these bolts back up. It takes just a sec to get them snug. We have to have this tight on that, the actuator tight on the bracket to get this to work. And we're going to do this on both, both pieces. All right, I'm also going to pull this one off as well so we can show you on both styles. So first off, let's deal with the pin style here. Now there's two ways to adjust this. Um, one is you do have two jam nuts here and if I just these are jammed together if I turn this it's going to Move this shaft and I can adjust it this way You're only going to adjust about a half a turn each time so Remember where you're at before you're adjusting it, but before you do this I'm going to show you how to initially calibrate this thing so take a screwdriver and you're going to remove the little e-clip on there. Don't lose it, it's easily lost. Now if you're on this style, you're simply going to take an 11 16 wrench and you have to put the wrench here or you will damage this this piece here. On this one, you're simply going to put the, put the wrench and loosen this bolt. Now this bolt does not need uh, crank too tight, maybe around 70 inch pounds, but now that's that's free from this system on this one this is free as well so on the pin style you're going to simply push the the veins all the way toward the actuator so it's as far back this is closed this is the vein closed vein open then we're simply going to turn this all the way back so that when we slide this over when it's when the veins are closed pushed all the way up this slides over freely but we want it to be tight enough that I have no wiggle room in here. So you want it tight on this side. So in other words, I want this all the way back and it not to wiggle that this is tight enough. So if I go there, yep, see, oh, that's tight, that's perfect. I don't want it over tight, but I want it so that will slide on easily. Then I'm simply gonna pull this off. I'm gonna count four and a half turns. One, two, three, Four and a half. So yes, the veins will. All, the starting position is always going to be slightly open on this. Now for this style, it's very similar. We're simply going to go, and now you're going to want. You're probably wondering, do I go the outer hole or the inner hole on this? It depends on which turbo you have. On this style here, um, if you have. Uh, an S300 turbo, it will always come, or an S400 turbo that has uh, the T4 platform. In other words, a smaller size, the non-semi version, they're always going to come with a medium spring, or the, I'm sorry, the light spring in here. And with that, they will go in the outer hole. So if you look at the radius here, there's two holes in this. One is a smaller radius, the other is a larger radius, and it's this lower hole. And that's the one we're looking at here. So what we're gonna do on that is we are simply going to loosen this jam nut here, and there's one above it as well. You're gonna have to loosen both. And I'm gonna loosen this jam nut here, both jam nuts, so that it will freely turn. And we're, we're going to turn this all the way in so that when this is shut, this is the initial calibration, when this is shut, the hole, the outer hole, this hole, lines up with that. And we're like one more turn away from it. Bam, there we go, oh, no, we're not quite there. One more, we want it so it when it's shut, it's fully shut. So that if I put that bolt in it now, it will, it will, 
it will the veins are fully shut in other words this is up this is retracted all the way then once if, if that bolt will thread in that outer hole which it does right now I'm not gonna put it in here this is the starting position is four and a half turns out so I go one two three four and a half and I'm gonna go four and a half turns out and that's the initial starting position for calibration and make sure you've got enough threads in this piece if not you might have to loosen the upper jam nut and give yourself so you're at least a, at least two or three threads into each piece so that you don't lose that anyway and then you're going to tighten these jam nuts together now both of these are calibrated for the initial calibration which is required to know where we want these set to start initial testing so once they're calibrated I'm going to take this out and I'm going to drive it and I'm going to see how it runs if it runs well and it spools up like you want, leave it, you're there. But if you want to adjust it to find the sweet spot, the adjustment is exactly what we just showed except for I'm gonna go a half a turn at a time, either longer or shorter. And I don't know which way it's gonna be for you. Every truck is slightly different. So I crack this nut again, or this bolt on this side, and I'm simply going to, and I have to also do the jam nuts and then I'm simply going to go either, if I want it shorter and tighter on it, I'm gonna go half a turn, put it back to that outer hole, and this is how we start, and then take it for a drive. This is how we adjust it. If I'm developing too much boost or too much exhaust pressure at low end, I'll want to lengthen this, make it longer. If I'm not developing enough, I might wanna go shorter. Never wanna get past about two and a half turns off the base, so in other words, when I'm adjusting it tighter, prob I probably never want to go more than about two or two and a half turns. When you're done finally adjusting it, remember, and this is, should be torqued to about 70 inch pounds. Now on the pin style, it's the exact same movement. Now look, remember our calibration is four and a half turns out, the initial calibration. So that's where we're starting, our starting point is. If I want to adjust it shorter, I put it here and I take the truck for a ride. The other way I can adjust it is up here, is just turning that. It will also, if I leave this hooked up, I can turn these jam nuts together and it will, it acts like a turnbuckle. So it's simply a matter of finding the sweet spot. If I'm going one direction with it, if I'm going shorter, 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 and my performance doesn't get better, then go the other direction, go lengthen. The last part of the adjustment and most people will not have to do this in most cases, but these two jam nuts, if I turn them just by grabbing it and turning them, they will move that shaft and can adjust the initial starting position or the calibration position. But they can also be loosened and moved up or down the shaft. I always have to have a gap here of at least, you generally want a gap of one millimeter, which is one of these threads off of this spring. So, and you might have to grind a wrench. A lot of the wrenches are not thin enough to slide in on that, to, to loosen these from each other. But on this case, I loosen the jam nuts from each other so they'll freely spin. And once they're loosened and they'll freely spin, I'm going to push this spring all the way up against the, the base here, and I'm going to come up until it touches the spring. And I'm talking barely touches. I don't want it tight. Barely touches to where that spring will not move up and down but barely, I'm not compressing the spring at all. Then I'm going to turn one full turn, one full turn out from there so it has a little bit of play. And what that does is it allows us to get an initial starting position and it open quickly and then it hits this spring as a secondary stage. This can be adjusted up or down slightly, but we don't recommend this until you've got everything running the way you want with the, other, the, the startup and the initial spool up. And then we're, when that's adjusted, we're simply going to tighten these two jam nuts together, keeping, be, being careful not to turn that lower one because you've already adjusted it. But it always has to have, that's a little loose in there, at least one, one thread turn off of that spring. And it can be higher, but never lower than that. The last step on this is putting your little E-clip back on and don't lose these again. They're very easy. They go springing off into space if you're not careful. I put the e-clip on and then I'm going to loosen these 
bolts here that are holding this on just to put my cover back on and you just need to loosen them a little bit so that the cover will slide in it's got those slots that it'll slide and we're just going to slide that back on there and then tighten her back up and you're all adjusted and done we recommend until you're totally done adjusting this thing you can run this without this cover on just leave that off until you're fully done adjusting and then when you've got everything running how you want put this cover back on tighten her up and you are good to go and you should love this this vgt they are super fun to to drive